Throughout the short time the internet has lived and evolved, there have been many creepy and disturbing entities surfacing the web, each with their own oddly charismatic and dark ambience surrounding them. Today, we are covering one of Trevor Henderson's most unnerving creatures, Needle Horse. Horses, majestic creatures that have blessed humanity with their reliability. They are known throughout the world for their mutualistic relationship with humankind. Horses have been domesticated for over 5,000 years. They have helped humans travel for ages, and humans have provided them with feed to keep them content. Horses are known to be docile unless threatened. Their personalities and appearance slightly vary. However, nothing as drastic as this thing's appearance. On July 25th, 2018, a picture was uploaded on Trevor Henderson's social media accounts containing the appearance of a particular creature that was from then on referred to as the Needle Horse. This wretched existence looks nothing like a horse, yet it got its name by the similarity in their size. The beast has some sort of needle-like provosis, almost like a pelican, but only if the pelican was stripped off its feathers and forced into carnivorism. Needle horse has a particular ashen skin tone, which is a very popular tone seen in most of Trevor's creatures, besides the usual pinkish red. Needle horse is a quadrupedal being with odd set of limbs. Sad limbs do not belong in a horse, as they are angled wrong. This detail will help us find out what this creature is, but first, let's read the description. I've never seen a police horse at night in this city before, standing motionless on a side street, without a rider. Here's when the beast was first unawarely categorized as a horse. Whether it is a horse, albeit a very deformed one, is still a mystery we can only unfurl with more encounters. Fortunately, on January 3rd, 2019, there was another recorded encounter with this creature. This time, Needle Horse looks to be stalking an open field, instead of the previous city it was inhabiting. In the image's description, the following is written. We were camping, and I heard something kicking through the brush, and at first I thought it was a wild horse. Are there wild horses out that way? Anyway, it wasn't a wild horse, or any horse. So, not a horse, then what? We know it cannot walk like a horse, since its limbs are literally backwards. I am actually more convinced of this entity being an insectoid than something related to a horse. Its two hind limbs serve the same purpose that humans legs do, to support the weight, while the two front legs are structured to provide propulsion, which is the exact opposite of a regular horse. Before we reach any conclusions, let's divert to the most recent post. This one was uploaded on January 9th, 2020. Here, we can see our cute spawn of Satan peeking down a tunnel of sorts. Yet this time, its front legs have been completely rearranged. Now, for some reason, Needle Horse has two sets of weight supporting limbs. Very curious. In the description, we can find this. We've been hearing people complain about an animal hanging around the tunnel exit near the highway. No one seems to be sure just what kind of animal, but we have to do something. It's getting aggressive. 
Okay, so we learned that this creature is getting aggressive after inhabiting its own exit. This could be a sign of the creature showing a territorial trait. We also learned that this creature managed to change its two front legs. I believe the only way it could have accomplished this would be through metamorphosis, which is when your body drastically changes through cycles in your life. What other information can we extract from these posts? To answer that, I went delving into the comments, and I found this. Trevor replied to a comment under the most recent post. The user asked Trevor if Needle Horse has an anteater face. Trevor responded with, Picture a very big mosquito. Aha. Uh -huh. So not so much of a horse, but instead more of an insect. This makes sense. Not many mammals possess a provosus. Less one like this. Knowing that Needle Horse could actually be a giant insect narrows our search. If we want to find out what Needle Horse is, we need to combine the information we acquired. 1. The limbs have completely changed with time. 2. Needle Horse provoses is similar to that of a mosquito's. 3. It has been seen acting aggressive and territorial. This is a clear sign that Needle Horse is an overgrown and mutated insect. To be more specific, I believe him to belong to the mutated Calyptra family, also called the Vampire Moth. There are thousands upon thousands of species of insects. I chose the Calyptra Moth due to the similarities between them and Needle Horse. The Calyptra, like most insects, undergoes a metamorphosis which is what we see Needle Horse doing. This type of moth has a long and wide provosus, which is used to extract blood from animals and humans. The Glyptra males are also very territorial, especially during mating season. This type of moth also matches the color tone our nightmare has, pun intended. There is a possibility that Needle Horse is part of a different insect family, as there are literally too many to be perfectly accurate. But at least I am sure that it is not a mosquito, since they don't gain their provoses until they are fully mature. As we know, Needle Horse has yet to reach its final metamorphosis stage. And we can also rule out butterflies, since the few that do suck blood only do so from carcasses. Following this theory, then we can assume the Needle Horse is still undergoing metamorphosis, which is the reason we do not see antenna nor wings on his back, since they have yet to grow. He may still be in his eating stage. But, if this is indeed the start to a new species, may God save us all. If you're afraid of needles, avoid this entity at all costs. What do you think? Do you believe that he could survive being poked by one of these critters? Tell me why or why not in the comment section. Shout out to the great Lucario. Thanks for always keeping the Trevor Henderson fandom wiki in order. Without you, the whole wiki would be lost after so much vandalization from self-entitled brats. Thank you for your hard work. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe. This video was sponsored by you. Thanks for watching the ads. Do add Trevor and myself on social media in the description. Join my Discord. I'll be posting the server in the comments. Today's phrase was chosen by Trenton Freeman. Thanks for once again participating, Freeman. Let us see what you have in store for us. Find a needle in a haystack sounds like an impossible task. But be wary of when the needle starts looking for you.